And we're taking another live look outside. It's very gloomy out there because it's a WJZ alert day. And our first alert weather team has been doing everything they can to keep you updated. First alert meteorologist Steve Sosna is in the weather center with when we can expect this weather to start subsiding. Hey, Steve. Hey, Jessica. And I think we don't have to wait much longer. Already starting to quiet down in a good chunk of the area. We are looking at those storms moving out of the picture and a nice, easy weather pattern settling in. I do have to say, if you got used to that heat, you're going to have to get used to the cooler weather building in. Back to normal here with our April temperatures. Live look outside, as you can see from our Maryland science camera, some drops on the lens, just leftover drops as that rain is pushing out of the area. Uh, latest observation out of the airport came in just before 6 o'clock, so it was just still some light rain there, but I think a lot of that is pushing out. And what's pushing in is some much better weather here. So severe storms coming to an end. We'll be able to end that alert day for you and get you back to normal here. Later tonight, temperatures dropping back down into the 40s. I think that is the bigger weather story as we move into tomorrow morning. You're waking up and wow, it's a little bit of a shock to the system. Temperatures here in the 40s and 50s. We'll get back into the 60s here and a nice easy stretch of weather here to come. So all of the warnings have now been dropped for the state of Maryland. Nobody living in the state of Maryland is dealing with any severe warnings. They're up across the Poconos of Pennsylvania. That's where that line of storms is headed. As you can see, the back edge of the rain now. Now, we had a few hours of steady, much needed rain in Baltimore even after the storms fell. That is coming to an end here, and that is moving up into southeastern Pennsylvania and toward the Jersey Shore, where our weather will start to become under the influence of this upper level low. You can see it looks like a bowling ball here on our water vapor picture. That's some dry, chilly weather coming back to the area. In fact, we may be dealing with some frost and freeze advisories coming up here next week in the morning hours. That's how chilly it will be getting. Wind gusts upwards of nearly 50 miles per hour parts of Montgomery County in Maryland. We saw winds gusting upwards of 40 miles per hour in Baltimore. And in between, we saw some wind gusts upwards of 60 miles per hour. So that brought down some trees and power lines. All those winds are really coming to a halt. Now, cooler weather moving in from the west. So this is your future radar. Still have to allow the chance for a brief shower or thunderstorm. I think this model is overdoing it just a bit, but still the leftover potential of a shower or thunderstorm here tonight with temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s. Tomorrow we're going to turn it around into a pretty nice looking day. Sunshine to start with temperatures into the low 60s by 10 o'clock in the morning. Low to mid 60s. The wind will be busy here tomorrow out of the west and northwest and it's a refreshing feel. Mid 60s Inner Harbor, mid 60s down by the airport and the O's playing baseball tonight and then again for the day tomorrow. So for tomorrow's game, 135 is the first pitch, 65 at the first pitch. Temperature 64 degrees at 3 o'clock and in the afternoon hours in the low to mid 60s. So let's get a look at that seven day forecast where we will show you the O's in town and they have that refreshing baseball here all the way through Wednesday. We're looking at temperatures in the morning hours in the low to mid 40s, low to mid 60s during the afternoon hours. Next chance of showers coming in here next Friday and Saturday with that cool feeling. Jessica.